Hello, this is Mermaid Jeffa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today I'll just be doing a short video of how I make pectoral fins. Um, I've looked on YouTube for a long time to see if there's any videos that show you how to make um, fins for your mermaid tails and I didn't come across any I've only seen uh, I've only oh, well, the only videos I can find out there on YouTube are the ones that show you how to measure for a mermaid tail and how to sew your own mermaid tail but not how to um, make the fins that go on the tail so I thought I'd try my hand at um, showing you how I make my um, fins for my uh, rainbow mermaid tail which you saw in a previous video um, these are pectoral fins uh, pectoral fins are the ones that sit on the underside of your body like that and they usually are located just under the um, waistband or just under your belly button on your tummy like that on the mermaid tail so that's what that's where pectoral fins go I've seen uh, photos and uh, unboxing videos of you know like the silicon tails and sometimes they have the fins a bit higher or sometimes they have it a bit lower but um, I'm planning to have mine just to, just under the, uh, the waistband of my pants so I'll measure it on my tail with some uh, washable marker of where the uh, fin placement is and then I'll sew it on with a zigzag zigzag stitch okay back to the fin I um first I made a paper template I played around with really like different shapes to see which ones I like and this is the one I like so I, this is my uh, fin pectoral fin and I traced it on a bit of fabric and sew up the sides just the sides I didn't sew up the top yet and what I did to make the uh, curve like how it's slightly curved on this one here I said I cut slits just little slits into the uh, fabric where the uh, big part of the curve is um, I find that cutting cutting the slits and then folding it over is much easier to create the um, nice curved edge that I want I, uh, it's not a perfect curve as you can see there are still some points some slight points in the um, edge of the fabric but um, that you know that if that bothers you then then you have to keep like trying to fold it in a way that um, it doesn't show the uh, pointy bits but um, that doesn't really bother me at the moment because it to me it just looks like little points on, of a fin and it's more natural looking this way instead of having one that's totally curved so to me it's more natural looking so after I cut the slits, I start from the middle to fold the um, get the edge. I usually do this with two hands and the pins here, but I took the pins out just to show you how I how I do uh, my pe my fins, our uh, pectoral fins in this case. So I fold it over like that and pin it in place. And then I'll show you this side because this side's already done. Hopefully you can see it without the um, 
other side are trying to fold it so you can see it without the other side in the way okay there we are so this is what it looks like I did I just did a bigger the biggest straight stitch I had on my machine because this is um, this part of the tail or the fin is isn't going to be stretched like say when you you know put your tail off and on that it has to be zigzag stitch because it has to stretch with the um, your body and the movement of the tail in the water but this part of the tail where the fin pectoral fins are going to be um, zig a straight stitch is all right for the bottom end and most likely for the side ends but I wanted to keep it um, kind of uniform on the side so I did a zigzag stitch along the sides on this one and this one okay because this part is going to be sewn this edge here is going to be sewn onto the tail I also left it as a zigzag stitch you can see there you go zigzag stitch and also in this one it's already done okay once once it's been sewn up like so I turn it inside out so it looks like this and in keeping in line with the open close fluke technique that I have on my tail I left the bits here open but it's also closed <laughs> I still <laughs> I still haven't found the right name to call it here so like I said this part will be sewn on the tail and this part will be free flowing the reason I didn't sew top to bottom on you know along each along the fin is because I wanted the uh, pectoral fin to have a more flowy look in the water if it was sewn all the way down it creates a much stiffer fabric that when you swim it's, it's just gonna like I'll just do a demonstrate here to so just pretend it's in water it's just gonna, it's just gonna go like this see it becomes a much stiffer fabric that just flats up and down and uh, because I left it I just sewed the ends this part this part of the fin it'll have a much flowy more natural that look so that even in the slightest wave it'll just move by itself whereas if it was sewn all the way down in the slightest wave it's not gonna move by itself it's just gonna either flap up or flap down <laughs> so that's the best way I can describe it without a video because I don't have an underwater camera at the moment so I can't really show you what it looks like except to describe it so hopefully you understand what I mean so yeah that's how I sew on my um, sew my pectoral fins and I'll show you a video later of it already sewn on to my tail and I'll see you until then bye bye